hi guys welcome back to my channel so today's video is a my full beat makeup routine this is my regular routine i do every time i do my makeup and it's without fail so yeah y'all my hair is being laid right now look at the middle part i'm still not sure if it's in the middle but it's crisp i did it i did i did the thing this time i know y'all like why are you doing your makeup in a white shirt because it's just that's just how it's ready to get done so let's get started first things first i eat your brain but no you see these dry lips lip gloss so this lip gloss is wet cherry lip gloss by lime crime it's called extra popping just a clear gloss like it really don't matter y'all i'm up close and personal with y'all First thing we're gonna do is skin prep. So, my toner that I'm using right now is this good Molecules Nice Center My Brightening Toner. I haven't really noticed any brightening, but this is what I use. Next, I use this serum the discoloration serum i kept getting asked for it on tiktok so i was like fuck it let me buy it see if it actually works still don't know whether or not it works i feel like i still look the same and now with the moisturizer moisturizer peter thomas roth y'all i don't think i ever switched to a different moisturizer i love this moisturizer it's expensive but i feel like it's worth it to get like this amount you don't even need that much but my skin has been pretty dry, especially around my mouth. I think it's because I keep wearing a mask. At this Peter Thomas Roth eye gel. Girl, you really don't get a lot. Next after that, I gel up my eyebrows with the e.l.f. brow gel. And I don't touch them. I don't put on foundation unless they dry. Cause then the foundation moves them and it's just annoying. It's primer while the brows dry. So I'll use a Milk Hydro Grip Primer. I love this primer so much. Y'all need to get it. It's $30, but it is worth it. I do two pumps. Well, I think I ever and place it all over my face. Let me shake up my foundation. Make sure there's still some in there. I use the NARS Ultra Radiant Foundation. No, sorry. The, I, I use the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. This foundation is so good. Like, people will be hating on it, but it's so good. So, I do two pumps on the back of my hand. Then I take my finger and I spread it over my face like this. Spread it all over my face. I have this thing where every time I film my makeup, I always wind up changing it right after. I am trying to incorporate the Fenty Beauty concealer into my makeup routine. Just not turning out how I like it. So then I still have some on the back of my hand. Did I put some on my chin? Let's put some more. Then I take my brush, which I will be using the Morphe R6. I also really like the ELF foundation brushes, but today I'm using the Morphe R6 from their Rose Gold collection. And I'm gonna swirl it around in whatever's left of my hand. So now that's gone and it's on the brush. And I take whatever setting spray I use. Right now it's Milani, so I spray my face with it. I'm only doing two sprays because as y'all can see, I'm running out, so. And I blend it out. And I blend it out in a tapping motion. So tap, tap, tap. I will say it's medium coverage, but you can definitely build it out. It's very lightweight. I don't feel like I have anything on my face. So I definitely recommend it for you guys. I move on to my concealer, ColourPop. ColourPop has been in my concealer since I started doing my makeup, which is like ninth grade at high school. I've been gravitating for them for a year. So I don't think I ever switch up with any concealers. The, at first, it was the no filter concealer that I like, but now 
I'm loving the pretty fresh hyaluronic acid concealer. Oh, I also forgot to tell you guys my shade in the NARS foundation. I'm the shade D1 with NARS. And in the ColourPop concealer, I'm the shade Dark 170. And, well, that's the shade I use. I feel like it's the best shade to use. So I'll go in underneath my eyes first, like this amount. Just do a little bit of my nose bridge. And I'll do some underneath my nose. Because I don't contour, so that's like reverse contouring. People still do that. I'll put a little bit over my mouth. I have discoloration there. And I do, for my lips, you see is discoloration right here and right here. That's just me being a black person. So, I cut it upwards. So, upwards. And next, I take the Morphe M173 brush to blend out my concealer. I start from the bottom to the top. So, mouth right here, nose. And then I start my eye, and I start with whichever eye I put the concealer down on first, which is usually the left one. And I do the same type of motions. I actually don't use, br um, I must say I don't use brushes. I actually don't use sponges in my makeup routine anymore. And what I like about this, this concealer, like it doesn't dry that fast. I think it's because of the hyaluronic acid. I told you guys I was trying to incorporate the Fenty Beauty Concealer into my routine, but it's not working because it dries like in five seconds, just like the foundation. Like I'm still trying it out, but I still don't know. Like it might not just be for me. You see, I have a line on my nose. That's like a mark of demar well, a line of demarcation. When I was young, I used to always hit my nose up like this, like uh, pushing it up. Like whenever it was like springtime, like allergies, I used to always do that. And I didn't even realize I had a line until this guy in my class had pointed out. Was like, oh, you got a line on your nose. You do that a lot, don't you? And I'm like, yeah. He's like, yeah, I could tell. You know, it's always people. And in school, that will point out something, and now all of a sudden, it's insecurity. Well, I'm not really insecure about it anymore, but I was like, damn, I didn't even notice it until you said something. So for the eyes, I look up while I blend it out. Of course, I start looking back to see if it's blending well, which, of course, it always is. Y'all, I look so good. Like, it's not, I don't go do that heavy of a bright under eye, but this looks really good. So, next thing that I do is obviously I, I set. I use the Ofra powder in light. It's like this light translucent shade, but it has a very pink undertone. So, I love it. Like, y'all can see it's pink. And I will be using that, sorry, on the Ofra Flawless Face Brush 106. So it's like this angle brush that's like dense. So you could put pack a lot in there. And I pick it up. Always say I leave the eyes first. I'm gonna blend it out though. And then I set my nose. Then I set my chin. Very lightly. I don't set my forehead. Y'all you know, see, I don't put concealer on my forehead anymore. I just grew out of that. Definitely set where I put the concealer on my mouth. Or set. And like, you could put some in the middle on the nose bridge just to set it. And now we're set. I don't set the rest of my face yet. Let me show you guys what I do. Oh, I just got hella powder on me. <laughs> okay, y'all. So. At the side of my face, it's contour time. This is the contour that I use. Um, I am working on getting a new one. However, I don't like 
buying a lot of makeup like I used to. Like, back then, it was cool to have hella makeup. But right now, I'm just like, you don't need that much. How, how often are you grabbing that 30th cream blush you bought? You're not. Not, not at all. You, you forgot it existed. So, yeah, now I'm just... I want to use this up until I can't use it anymore. And I use my contour with the e.l.f. pointed powder brush. I feel like this is a perfect brush for getting right here, right there. It will be a perfect blush, brush for blush as well, but I use it for contour. So I just tap into it, and I just tap where I would. I don't apply that much because this contour is very pigmented. Y'all can see. I'm going to show y'all the before and after on this side. So, y'all see how much I tapped into it? Okay, so like I was saying, I just tap it out like this. I don't add too much. You see, I'm getting chiseled already. And then I blend underneath because my face is very fat. So I try to snatch it as much as possible. Great really emphasize my chin give me a jawline and I take what I've left and I tap it on my forehead now it's blush time the brush I'm using for blush is this R46 brush I just started using it for blush sometimes I use it to set underneath my eyes but it's really big so I don't do that anymore I use all for blushes. I don't know the names of them. But right now, I'm just going to use this like very light pink shade. I've been really loving light pink blush. I think because I've been seeing Nyan from Twice wear light pink blush. And I apply it like directly on my cheek. Now that the blush is done, y'all might say, oh my god, that is too much. But it's really not. Because once it melts in my skin, it's going to look so good. I add blush on my nose not a lot just, just enough i don't put anything on my lids really so what we just doing is lashes so the lashes i'm using today are these claudia kills B fluffy lash connect collection this is in the style ck2 which is like the fluffy lashes these are mink lashes as well i really like them i tried them on already with this one I have different pairs by her. Before I had ordered the um the Claudia Killsby lashes, I had these lashes. I always wore these lashes, which is some lashes I had bought wholesale when I was like selling lashes. These were in the style of baddie. They look so good. They are very full, very fluffy, very cute. The curl is very cute. I love these lashes. I always wear them. In my Instagram picture, this is what you're going to see me with. Not this one, the one at the top. And also, if y'all wondering what this is, this is a lash book by House of Lashes. I never filled this up a day in my life, but I wanted it, so I got it. <laughs> I feel like once I get back into doing like makeup and stuff, it will be full. So always remember, your lashes go like this. Hold the container up to your eyes. So this one goes on this eye and this one goes on that don't hold it like this they don't put it in the, in the packaging like that they put it in the packaging like this okay okay so now the lashes are on y'all oh, tell me she eats every time i look at them i feel like this one is just a little bit too long i feel like i could cut it a little bit more but still it look really good like it looked like lash extensions like, it look like okay let me just go get my lashes on but i didn't okay so now down to the bottom part of the eyelids. I use a black liner. This is the MAC Technicolor liner. And I look down. Actually, I put it on my eye and then I close my eye. And I just move my head and it lines it perfectly. Y'all see? Y'all. I love doing that. This is my favorite part. If you feel like you're missing something on your eyes, get the black liner and do that because that's what you're probably missing so after that i go in with white um people don't really use white anymore but i am using it i have this super beauty i can't even open it 
I got the Zoo Beauty Hydro Liner. I got it from Morphe when I bought my brush set. Um, I'm running out of spray, but I gotta find my brush first. I also bought the the Super Beauty 610 brush, and I used this to line like my inner part. So right there, where it's like barely any black, just do a small line. So I spray it once, cause that's all you need. And then I run my brush in there. And now, um, let me grab my mirror. Got this Hello Kitty mirror. It's so cute. My boyfriend got it. So I'm just using this. So now I'm going to spray my face with the Milani Make It Last. So I'm covering my eyes because obviously I don't want to wet my eyes. So I'm going to spray my face. And I go in with a stippling brush from Ofra. And I just tap it all in. So for bottom lashes, I use the Benefit Roller Lash. I use the travel size because it's the perfect size wand to do your lower lashes. So yeah, if y'all feel like the when you do your mascara with the big wand and don't be looking right, get a smaller wand. It changes it. For the top lashes, I use the They're Real Magnet Mascara by Benefit. Benefit Mascara is good, y'all. This auto worker actually sold it to me. She's actually kind of harassing me. Like, you know how they be in auto. They be following you. And I'm looking for a mascara. I'm like, okay, so, you know, put them to work. You want to follow me? All right, I'm going to put you to work. You keep asking me if I need help. Yeah. What mascara would you recommend? Mind you, most of them in also makeup be looking a hot mess. Like, I shouldn't be taking advice from you, period. But, okay. This, that's my favorite part. It really brings it together, y'all. Brown lip liner. This is the Ofra brown lip liner. I usually like using the MAC one, but I lost it. Like, I can't find it, so. Then I had to find a sharpener for this one. But I found it. It's together. I can't lose this one. I gotta put it somewhere. I will never lose it. Then I overline a little bit at the top. So I go in with the MAC Luster, Luster Lip Gloss Lipstick in Lustering. It's like this pink, like a hot pink. So I use that. And I rub it in. Then I start muting it down. So that after the MAC, after the MAC, I use the NYX Butter Gloss. And I use the shape Madeline. And that's already starting to meet it down. Rub that together. Next after that, another lip gloss. Those are colors of gloss in the shade on repeat. Like this mauve nude pink. Here, like you can leave it here, but I'm still not done. It look cute, but it's still not my lip. Like this, not my lip combo to the gods. <laughs> Next is the Ofra lip gloss in cherry mocha. This one brings back life. Don't even need a lot. Y'all look, this is my lip combo. Okay, I'm not done yet. I'm not done yet. Okay. Y'all see? Like, I could leave it like this, but I'm not done. Last thing to do. Add a clear gloss. So, I've never been the type of person to just apply if I already got on different lips, clip, lip glosses. But here, take some on your finger. And this is the overlay. Come on, you just added the clear gloss. Now you got hella gloss on your lips. What do you do? This is what you do. Take your finger. Put 
my cousin told me this my older cousin told me this i mean she only older than me by a year but my cousin told me that do it again that take off all the period it's to spray my milk makeup so i didn't spray the hydro grip one a lot of people don't like the setting spray but it's really good you just can't spray a lot and then you just gonna look a mess like all these but the mist is so fine it makes you want to spray a lot but you really don't need to spray a lot so like three sprays is good so this is the end of my video thank you guys for watching this is the makeup look y'all do y'all like my hair i feel like i did a really good job i still don't know i don't think it's directly in the center but at this point i do not care but i look good period thank you guys so much for watching give it a thumbs up subscribe down below do not forget to subscribe and yeah check out my instagram and my tiktok period